With the release of Groupwise 18.2, there are some useful changes and enhancements that you may want to leverage. The advantage of using non-superusers for administration tasks is that a record of who makes what changes is recorded in the administration audit log. If all changes are logged as user admin, then it isn't very helpful in figuring out who did what. The first step is to make sure the audit logging is enabled. If you have upgraded from older versions of Groupwise, then you will need to manually configure that logging. Let me step you through that process. On your Linux Groupwise server, you will find the configuration file in opt novel Groupwise admin. gwadmin-logging.xml is the file that controls the logging. Now, gwadmin-logging.xml.template is a template file that contains the new instructions. If you haven't made any customizations to your admin logging, then you can simply rename the current file and swap in the template file. The other option is to compare your current file with the template and manually update two sections. You will want to add a new rolling file section under Appenders, as well as adding this information to the Loggers section. Again, simply replacing the file is easier if you can. Following a restart of the agents, you will see a new log file show up under var log novel groupwise gw admin. The log file is named gwadmin-audit.log. It will contain basic information about all admin tasks that are performed in the admin console. Before I show you what that log looks like, I want to set up an administration user so I can show you the benefit of this logging. In the Admin Console, click on the System menu here in the left panel, then click the Administrators option. I have three choices here, System, Domain, and Post Office. I can select any of the three and then click Add. I'm presented with the list of all my users. I can select a single user or check the boxes to select multiple users. I then need to use this drop-down list here to choose which domain or post office I'm assigning these users to administer. As you might expect, a system admin has rights to everything system-wide. A user assigned to a domain has control over that domain and any subordinate post offices and users. A post office admin only has rights to that post office and its users. Now if I log into the admin console as a user with admin rights, my actions will be recorded. For example, I'm just going to change a user's password. And this is what the log file will show. A timestamp, the operation performed, the object that was acted upon, and if available, the IP address of the workstation that was used. And the final piece of information is the domain that I was connected to when the change was made. You might be thinking, gee, that's nice, but I don't really care about logging the admin changes since I'm the only one that makes changes anyway. Fair enough, but there is another reason that increased security is needed. You now have the option of making more changes to a user's account than you've had access to in the past. With that increased access, we are going to force you to use an account other than the super user. For example, if I open a user object, then click on the user mailbox button, there is a lot of information presented here. However, because I'm logged in as the super admin, some things are locked out. For example, under rules, I can see the rules, but I can't do anything with them. If I log in as a user who has administration rights to this post office, then I can actually turn rules on and off. If I needed to, I could even create a vacation rule for a user. So if you want full access to all options, Add your GroupWise user object as an administrator of the system and log in with that ID when you access the admin console. We hope you find this information helpful. Thank you for watching.